Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to Genotype Overview. More alien stuff coming on the store. That's always interesting because every concept so far around this theme has been like different from each other. And there's always a lot of possibility with it because, well, it's endless with just the imagination and what you can do with it since we don't know what aliens are up to. <laughs> so Genotype is a cosmic action adventure game where as Everly we end up in the Antarctic weather station that apparently has been overrun by just monstrous beasts living there and you need to get out of there ASAP using your printing skills. That's pretty much what it separates from everything else out there. The main mechanic is around a 3D printing machine on our hands that prints other living creatures and we can use them against the others or even get into their skin and use their skills. How this though works, I don't know, like there's no connection with the storyline, but the transitions should be interesting because there's just a different set of locomotion and immersion with the alien world, like it's very much out there with the concept. If it's gonna be considered as a horror game or not, not totally sure, like it seems a little bit in the middle, but overall it seems intriguing simply because it's just something new. The graphical department I think is pretty okay for quest, some unique assets going on and to the environments. I'm just interested in the pure mechanics of it all cause the whole idea is cute but the execution has to be like flawless. Also can't tell if it's gonna be something like playthrough wise, maybe not but let's just see what's gonna be the dynamic inside it. Let's meet some aliens! I just want to remind you that I'm not a field person, okay? I was only supposed to write manuals. You don't say. Welcome to Antarctica, things change. Next week I expect you to do these short trips by yourself. What? You mean alone? You gotta learn to get comfortable on your own. Some of us like people, Dan, and that's a good thing. All right, I, I think this is it. I can't see shit in this weather. Out you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is uh, a lot of degrees. What's a fancy degree worth if you can't work the buttons on the screen to open the door? I've got it, thanks. Well, cool, but it could have been working. Just pull a restart lever and let's go! Sure. Who needs proper training? This is not at all irresponsible. What do you mean restart lever? Do I follow this? There's something blue, but... I know, that was the screen. <laughs> Hello! This doesn't look like the other masts! Are you sure this is ours? Pull the lever so we can get out of here, will ya? What's happening here? <laughs> What's going on? Wait for me! You better. Oh, you were gonna leave me. Close the door. Oof. <laughs> that wasn't our sensor. I told you. Call Manny and give him our coordinates. I've got everything under control. I just... Lost my way for a second, okay? This is the right way. I don't get paid enough to deal with this kind of... Uh, Dan, are you okay? What happened? <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. 
I think he's fine. Okay, but the graphics works and textures, it's uh, fine. But we're on Quest 3 now. <laughs> so everything is much clearer and... What is this place? Help! Anyone? More transparent to see bad textures. <laughs> <laughs> Very thematic. Please let this be a radio. We call it the Exoscope. <gasps> Who are you? No time for introductions. We need to make sure you don't end up like your colleague. You must be able to defend yourself. Go to the auditorium across the hall. I'll open the door. Defend myself? Against what? Hello? You see those gloves? They're a prototype of the grade, an organic 3D... All right, there's a ripcord attached to your dominant hand. It lights up when you approach it with the other glove. Pull the ripcord to print an organism. Whoa, is that thing alive? Its cells are alive, but it has no brain. Now, pull the trigger with your dominant hand. Try hitting the targets on the stage. Ew. Now you can defend yourself. Move on to the lobby. There's access from the outside. I can't do this alone. You gotta come and help me. I can't. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you why. Nice shot. All hand creatures have a secondary function. The secondary function of this creature is a grenade. Try hitting the target with your grenade. How? Alternative fire, but like what? Bullseye. You can dissolve your current hand creature by pulling the ripcord and releasing it near the glove. Try it out. It has some charges. I mean, this is disgusting, but... In terms of quality, it's okay. Is this his head or something? Like... Just ill. But it has limited resources. I wish I would have them in the second hand as well. Are you okay? I'm absolutely nowhere close to being okay. I can help you feel better. I mean physically, after your fall. Your gloves come with an inventory. Here you can store physical objects thanks to our ingenious dimensional compression. Take out the medical syringe and stick it in the utility socket on your glove. You'll feel a lot better. How do I use it? No explanation, okay. I mean, it's just a pressing button inventory. Nothing special. The map system automatically logs all the locations you're exploring. All right, before you go any further, you better familiarize yourself with the map. It's built into the display of your helmet. We found a fossil in the ice. From, from its DNA, we recreated hundreds of species of, of flora and fauna, but th the ecosystem took over. Those who didn't die from the creatures died from the airborne poison. Poison? Will it affect me? It's already in your bloodstream. The spores will reach your brain within a day and you'll die. But I've got a trick up my sleeve. Oh, great! A trick! I can't do this alone. I need a radio. We have an emergency radio, but I, I can't get to it. Sorry, I have to... Hello? <sighs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? I mean, now I'm kind of worried about the ammo, because <laughs> it doesn't replenish. Brace yourself before you open that door. Wait, why? Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, 
Oh my god. What the? Use the grade. So we have AoE and then target once. And now what? Like, what do I do? What was that? A greeting from an ecosystem that's gonna flood the planet. Good. You've extracted the creature's genome mass. You can use that to craft utility items. And to do that, you'll need a terminal. There's one in the registration office up ahead. Hang on, be right back. Wait! Brilliant. Just brilliant. You're handling it like a champ. I can see you through the security cameras. Any chance of you lending a physical hand soon? Unfortunately, I am stuck at the dig site, and let's just say the atmosphere here is dense. <laughs> Convenient. I'm coming to you then. I need that emergency radio. I'll open the door for you. Now I see. I'm consuming stuff. Do I though? <laughs> like Thanks. For some reason the update. It feels like a rogue like for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> to verify how much it uses for so we need at least two creatures to do like double <laughs> see like now I'm all about math and gameplay so if there are at least two it's worth to use the registration office is locked with a code it should be in the janitorial office on the first floor can I like put it behind my back or something because this is annoying just open up and it's counterintuitive. Hmm, what's this thing? We call them wallets. It was management's way of rewarding us for our work. Stick it in your glove. You can use the tokens to upgrade your gloves at a terminal. Ew. What did I just pick up? A blueprint. They're for printing new hand creatures. Stick it in your glove's utility socket. The new creature seems to be a so-called grubber. Print it by pulling the ripcord out until the grubber shows up on the screen of your primary hand. Oh. And who is this wonderful slimy fella? We call it the grubber. It can grab things from a distance. Use it to remove the growth on the door. Grab it with the grubber and yank your arm back. This mechanic is straight up from Bone Lab, <laughs> but it works. It works. Presto. Is this some kind of storage device? Oh, it might be one of Carlos's logs. Stick it in your utility socket to transfer the content to your grade. I'm sticking everything in me. Surprise, assholes. Bet you didn't expect old Carlos Torrilla to be alive. I'm taking my supplies into my office and locking the door. Don't use the lock override unless all of those bastards are gone. <laughs> what? Surprise! This is your friend Carlos with an automated recording. So, you want to steal my stuff, do you? Well, come and get me. Oh no, Carlos booby trapped this whole place. Here they come! Use the grubber, yank those bastards! 
yank. Oh, okay. I mean, he's unminted ammo, so. Any more coming? I'm afraid so. Keep that grubber ready. It's like my melee weapon. <laughs> I don't see any more. Oh, I thought I was done for. You did good. What's in this? It's a Genomass capsule, slotted in the utility socket of your glove. You can use Genomass to craft utility items at a terminal. So we'll do... Spitter for ranged enemies and then grabber for mana all right I'm in the office I'm sorry about the trap people do strange things once the poison reaches their brains uh, I don't remember much anymore uh, but if you are here, it means you went through hell. I want you to have my stash. It's hidden outside, near the entrance to the... I found the code. It's 8822. Great job. Now, get into the registration office and use the terminal. Cool, but I want to see the screen. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's disappearing. <laughs> I hear you. I should have the code for this lock, right? Correct. Punch in the code you found in the janitor's office. You remember it, right? Of course. 8822. There's so many resources, and I'm also stacking up on some because when he's talking, I can't do anything. That's a terminal. Use it to upgrade hand creatures, craft utility items, and improve your grade gloves. How user friendly is this thing? Follow the instructions, and you'll be a pro in no time. Try using your genome mask to craft an item. Strains are straight up just upgrades. I mean... I don't necessarily know if I need this weapon though, like, Grover is completely fine. So pretty. What am I looking at? It's a recipe you can craft using the terminals. I think you're ready to venture deeper into the facility. I've opened the doors for you. Aren't we working on getting out? I'm afraid you have to get to my location at the dig site to use the emergency radio. All right.
No <laughs> check-in console. Okay, but I think I stop here and overall it's fine. The mechanics work. There are certain stuff that I feel like could be upgraded VR-wise with the interactions and just yeah, this equipment essentially. <laughs> it's cute as an adventure. I don't know if necessarily the storyline is for me because it doesn't really grab my attention. It's like a specific thing with this theme or genre that you really need to like it to enjoy it. We have different weapons and then just switching the animals. Graphical department, I think it's enough for Quest to not be bothered by it. I definitely think there are some cool elements going for it.